Listen to sweet. That's our little mug. That's Dick Tracy. Where is it? No, that's Dick Tracy. And that is Dick Tracy. Uh, you see, that's a side view. That's a front view. We use these terms, don't we, in this, this film business here. There's a little boy in the middle, and he's not too happy. Around the other side here, we have a, a police constabule. That's the same one again, you see. There. That's a little police car. It's also a mug. I suppose I should show them now, should I? I love it when it's Christmas during the year. Right, the Dick Tracy uh, film is coming soon. Now, this is Dick. Um, the only trouble is, you remember that marvellous thing he had with that little uh, two-way wrist radio? Maybe his little sign used to say, what was it, uh, two-way? Well, he, he hasn't got one. It's disappointing. You see, both hands are free. Actually, a bit, bit gay there, really, isn't it? A bit gay. Put him there for, for a while. Uh, this is, um... Prune face. Was there such a creature, was there? Or was this just in the film? Prune face. Uh, working in the programming department uh, at this place here. When the ratings are good, he looks like this. And when the ratings are bad, he looks like this. There you are. You two can be very friendly. Now, this is... Um, I don't want to say who this person is. But he can put his own beer on his own head, which is a bit of a step forward for most of the Australians' uh, fantasies like that, and he growls at people. He's not with us at the moment. What a little menage a trois we have there. Look at that. Little cute things, aren't you? Itchy. Now, I'm not going to do anything with this one. <laughs> right, and finally we have, you know, a big boy. And you have to take his word for that. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes. So I'm sorry, Dick Tracy. The film is coming and Jack Nicholson's in it, which is a bit disappointing. In fact, we have a story on that. Should we leave... Um... That'll do, get him excited. Right. He never got that out of the way. I was looking forward to that. Good evening. This is actually a news show, if you're new to Australia. And we... Uh, a little group of journalists and me uh, go through the news of the day. We've left out, you know, sort of common accidents because we can't be obsessed with uh, people have accidents every day. In fact, I broke a leg. That I wasn't in the news. I was in the hospital, but I wasn't in the news. Uh, Johnny Diesel tomorrow night should be coming in, and Sue Smith talking about the week. Uh, we'll play that marvelous song of Johnny Diesel. What is it? I want somebody to love from the film um, The Delinquents. A group of newsroom people on a holiday. And that film, in fact, is available on videotape next week. I'll be reviewing that next week. There you are. Well, overseas, they know nothing of these things. Dick Tracy or Big Boy or anything like that. Romanians are discovering that democracy isn't as easy as it looks. Just a month after their first democratic elections, Romanians are back on the streets, fighting mad and calling for the overthrow. The Space Shuttle Columbia was a pretty sight as it landed safely just a few hours ago after a voyage troubled by computer failures and clogged plumbing. Isn't it amazing, isn't it? Wonderful. 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 W
When the United States first started packing troops off to the Gulf three months ago, many soldiers strutted their bravado as though it was all going to be a bit of a turkey shoot. They were overbearing, overzealous and overconfident. Well, to be fair, it's hard to put old heads on young soldiers. Well, to help make the fighting go a bit smoother, if it comes to war, the Americans have popped a new spy satellite into orbit, uh, say military analysts in the United States. NASA placed it in orbit with the help of the space shuttle Atlantis, but all did not go according to plan. For the it could be the biggest storm cloud in history. I can't work it. Was that Saturn, was it, or the moon? I always get the three confused. Why is it going backwards and forwards? All the time. In fact, I have uh, this day decided I shall take some interest in astronomy. I'm going to get a telescope, I hope, soon. And I shall go out to the country where it is clear, perhaps out near Coonabarabran, where the big boys are, and uh, assemble the whole thing, try not to get arrested. I often get interest in the police, you see, because when you're waiting for photographs, you often set up on the tripod, and the locals don't understand. They ring up the police, the police come down, they see your camera on the tripod, and they say, what do you think you're doing? I say, well, I don't know, really, actually, I don't know. It's just this camera's on the tripod, and I'm waiting for the light to be right. Oh, what's your name? And they go through this. So I dare say that if you see a little person assembling a big telescope uh, just down the street from where you are, if you're out in the country, it'll be me. And I won't be looking in your window, because they don't focus that close. I've tried it already. They always know, don't they? Just... Only in films do you see that. That's why videotapes are selling. Anyway, I'm going to take it. I have no idea what's out there. In well, fact, I have no idea what's one floor above here. Except Mr. Lyle, who goes around bumping into furniture, but he does it with class. President Bush, armed with new pledges of international support in the Gulf, has declared with renewed vigour that Iraqi forces will be driven out of Kuwait. Mr. Bush is in Saudi Arabia to cheer up American soldiers by celebrating Thanksgiving Day with them. Mr. Bush's hair is growing darker. It must be that stage in his term that happens. A lot of talk is going on about that, isn't it? I suppose it's better to have talk than too much action. Prince Philip has told Cape York Aborigines he's sure they can coexist with the proposed space base. However, he's chastised the Queensland and federal governments for being tardy with the management. I like Prince Philip. He's a good bloke. He's quiet, isn't he? It's like Mrs. Mr. Thatcher is very quiet, isn't he? Or else. Uh, Christmas is six weeks away, and uh, the nice people of Brashes, who sell all sorts of marvellous things, have drawn my attention uh, to a little unit they have for sale for you. Now, the great thing about it is it is remote. You could have this in your bedroom, put the wardrobe against the, the door to stop people, and you can have your own little remotely controlled one. I have a little device here which does everything. For example, let us look at the tape here. Here, press the button here. This marvellous music. This is uh, Paris, Texas. Ry Cooter's music of about, uh, what, how long was the film there? About six years ago? Um, this thing has a thing. This FM radio. So we flicked a tune now. This is all done remotely. I was manhandled. That's better. OPSM, the fitting way to buy. Then we go to ABC FM. Oh, they must be all that powdering themselves. Isn't it lovely? Mine hasn't even got this. I'm going to get up and actually manually turn it round. I see trees of green. Oh, how beautiful. Isn't that... Oh, gorgeous. And as well as that, we have CD. And I must play you just a bit of this because it's uh, my joy. See the little thing there? Now, if I've got 12 there, now I go 10 and 2. Now I'm getting... Uh, no, oh, dear. Oh, there you are. Right. Right, hang about, hang about, hang about. Um, it has a five-year warranty. A five-year warranty, which very few things have. And, oh, the price, the price. Well, we're trying to pirouette it. You ready for it? Just relax. $999, I said to the man who came out. I said, why don't you make it a 1000 He said, 999 actually saves you a dollar. I said, oh, all right, it's a fair cop, it's a fair cop. So there you are. It's a five-year warranty, remote control, CD player, dual cassette decks, it's the latest of the Yamaha, the Yamaha Mini Hi-Fi system at Brushes for that price.